All right, now I'm back. Um, we're gonna go ahead, you know, start mixing the stuff. So that's kind of what we need because you know I'm making quite a bit. I got nine ounce bowls. I'm gonna have to use maybe two cups of crunchy peanut butter and then all of these cool wet bottles. So go ahead and kind of open up the you know peanut butter. I'm not really worried about trash or not. I'll clean up in a little bit. So there's your crunchy peanut butter that you'll need. So you kind of want to get your little handy dandy measuring cup. Which where did that little bugger walk off to? Oh, there it is. There's a dump plunk up. You fill that up. Just kind of you know, do this and then kind of kind of just stick it in there and get it in there, get the one cup in there. Make sure it's nice and chunky. Okay, there's your one cup. Just kind of, you know, do this. Get it out, get it in there. Because you just need to get that in there. Kind of get off as much as, much as you can. With the spoon. As I'm flinging stuff everywhere, but that's alright. Okay, so just kind of okay. need another cup because I'm going to use about two cups of peanut butter, maybe three. So actually, you know, I'll just take. I'm done measuring, but you get the idea. I'm kind of going off based on my own recipe here, so. And I think that'll be good. Good with that. So now, get the Cool Whip here. Get your Cool Whip. And it don't matter, you know, if it's got peanut butter on because this is all going in a mixture anyways. So just kind of get all your peanut, but peanut butter and Cool Whip in there and just dump it all in there. You may only need to use one of these because it looks like there's enough. That's alright if I made a mess, it's not a big deal. Seems like there's enough cool whip in this one, so let's take the uh, one down later. So, make sure you get it all out of there. I made. So now we got, you know, all that. I'm not going to use too much Cool Whip just because, you know, I might use a little bit more just so I can kind of, you know, give, give it a little, you know, frothiness. But other than that, we don't want to use too much because, you know, you got to figure here. That should be about enough because you don't want to do too much. You're gonna be kind of left with the creamy dessert thing for a while. So you know I'm using about one and a half of those. So if I have to, I can add more. So kind of the reason that's there. Now it comes to the fun aspect of it: mixing it with cream cheese. So I probably would only need like maybe three of these because I don't go too much because I got to get all that. In those, so you know, just for kind of namesake, we'll just use two, not go over bearing here. And I, I like the Philadelphia cream cheese just because you know it's nice and it tastes good and stuff like that. You gotta consider how much is there, too, so. and it's nice and soft, too, which makes mixing it a lot easier. And you don't want to go too fast because of everything that's in there, so. Kind of set those to the side. Getting getting these open were, were just kind of a pain. So 
but once you do, it's not so bad. Just throw it in there and kind of set your trash off to the side. So just kind of throw it in there. So I'm not really in my no measuring. Now depending, and I mean really depending on who you have here, it's always good to save a little bit more if you make a lot because then you can use it for like ice cream and stuff like that. And it makes it kind of a Snickers uh, sundae. So it kind of makes it kind of interesting. So get my little uh, thing to wipe my hands off here. And now comes to the fun aspect of it, this. So you get on the right setting here. So we'll probably go one for the moment. I think about it's going to break it up. push it down in the middle here so it's kind of you know in the middle and not flinging it everywhere Well, that's my computer being kind of stupid for the moment. I'm going to take a few minutes to get kind of, you know, mixed in there. And it's just going to take a little bit. So you're going to have to be patient. It'll get mixed in there. Believe me, in the end, it's worth it, okay? It's very worth it. They didn't say, you know, messiness was never easy. I just had to get really get a kind of spread around, you know. Just kind of get all this down in the middle so you got some, you know, leeway. So it's mixing nicely. So my computer's been kind of stupid, just ignore it. So. Oh, it's kind of making a mess. It's all right. Don't worry about it. My kind of first experience. It's gonna kind of look like this. So yeah, that's kind of what you know yours is gonna look like. Nice and chunky. So, that tastes good. Kind of throw that in there because I don't want to make a mess. So, all right. So we've got our mixture here. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything else ready and I'll see you in the next part. See ya.